Yo, what is up guys? Welcome back. So, the new event is around the corner and what deck to play then? Blackwings, obviously. Like, I believe Blackwings is going to dominate this again even though they got ner hella nerfed, bro. They got hella nerfed. They even banned our Borea Storm, bro. How are you gonna just gonna take out the old Blackwings, man? Like, fuck. Whatever. <laughs> so, I still have some awesome combos I want to show you. I added a couple of spies with the Pinkrons into this deck, so we are going full 5 D's mode. However, before I show you the deck, let's check out some combos that I have. So, I'm also playing this Synchro World Field spell because the thing is, like, so many cards are not playable. So, we have to fill out this deck somehow with good cards. But yeah, however, here we can just banish whatever we want. Let's banish Zonda, and then we can boom, boom, do these, that, boom, search. Uh, Simoon, Zudri, they're all unfortunately like one of cards. So, we don't have, can't, we cannot play those more than once, which is really sad, but it's fine. Once you have Simoon on our hand, if our opponent hasn't even surrendered yet, then he is going to <laughs> soon. So, <laughs> yeah, we're gonna add here Vata and obviously Jamal the baller. And we're gonna activate Jamal. Like, this boat is probably the best boat that you can build with the new um with the new uh in this event this is the best part that you can build in this event yes yeah that's 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 exactly what i want to say and uh, now we can special summon here our boy zudri as uh, vata and then what i like to do is first use zudri's effect to tribute the token and then summon tribute Simoon to get the token out, yeah, that way. And then we want to go here into our oh, Nofong. And like I said, Borea Storm is unfortunately banned, so we won't be able to go for him. But that's fine, we don't need to. What we're going to do here Shamal to get back our Zudri. And this is just like if our opponent hasn't surrendered by yet, then I don't know why he's still in here. He's probably just. Loving the way we are comboing, but every I don't know what I want to say, but yeah, like being best deck from here on. It's up to you what you want to add. You can add Shanga, what I would suggest because we, we don't have Borea Storm anymore to send him to the graveyard, to you, so you better want to add Shanga to your hand. Otherwise, you can also add Orochi if you want to go for some other spicy combos. That I'm going to show you. So depending on whatever boat you want to build, you're going to add either Roshi or the Shanga. And I would always suggest to get the Twin Shell because Twin Shell alone is going to be enough to let your opponent scoop. I'm going to be honest with you like this. That already is insane. Now we want to go here into Axel. Just like that. Boom, chakalaka. And the cool thing is that Axel is also excel sorry excel why the excel excel not excel that it, it's not excel it's excel excel synchron yeah the cool thing about excel synchron is that this dude right here is also a tutor so we can potentially uh, basically send him to the graveyard and uh, banish him and banish our blackwing dragon to summon a blackwing assault dragon isn't that cool? I think that's very cool. Now, what you want to do next is bounce back the Black Feather World over here. Boom, do this. Then we can summon that again. And the, the Synchro World, I'm not going to use it right now. But basically what Synchro World does is insane. Because we can now decrease or increase levels with it if you want to. Or we can just like special summon one from our graveyard, a Tuna or a Synchro Monster. But... Yeah, and if our opponent decides to pop this, we can summon our King Calamity, uh, Crimson Dragon. Sorry, Crimson Dragon. Uh, yeah, now we are going to reduce this card's level by the level of the Scent Monster, so this is now becomes level 2. And basically, we can already summon right here King Calamity. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. I know, I know, guys, I know. Oh, man, but before we do that, I would say let's summon a couple more monsters, man. Let's do let's do that. We can summon a couple more monsters. 
What about... How about... Some... Diabolic stuff here. We can do that. And then... We can trigger again the Black Feather Whirlwind. Special summon here. Vata right back. And... What else, man? We got so much shit that we can do, man. Like, uh, the sky is literally the limit. The sky is not the limit, man. Yeah, we can sum right now the um, revolutions of Crown for the graveyard, but there's right now not much that we can do with it. So, yeah, fuck it. We don't need it. We have Twin Shadow. We have the Blackwing Dragon. Okay, yeah, we, we just go to the end phase like this, right? We're just going to go to the end phase. I don't think there's any other deck. By the way, even if you get right now Lightning Storm Raigeki, it doesn't matter because our brother right here, Blackwing Dragon, and the Black Feather Wormant is going to protect all our monsters by Lightning Storm or by uh, Raigeki, whatever. Even though Lightning Storm is also banned in this event. But yeah. Alright, so we're just gonna wait. Here, boom. He activates the card. Which is fine. And now on resolution. This is really important. Always do this on revolution. If you don't do this on revolu re re on resolution. King Calamity is going to miss his timing. Okay. Keep this in mind guys. If you don't keep this in mind. Not good. Now we can use any of those two. You can you can also use Diabolic if you wanted to. But I, I wouldn't really suggest to. And you can do this. Chain. Black Feather. The special summon. Whatever you want. You can now... Uh, special summon Zonda to bounce one of his monsters back. Or you can special summon Chinook to negate one of the monsters. Or if you want to like burn him, you can also summon Nopong. It's up to you. It's really, really just up to you guys. What's important is to make King Calamity always chain two. If if it's if you're mixing up those chain links right here, they can still imprim it. And then boom. Just like that. We're gonna burn our opponent. Like that. And he's just. There's nothing else that he can do. He's just gonna summon a monster. And if he does that, we can just say, you know what? This is, by the way, how, also how we're gonna get back Zudri to our deck. We're just gonna say, uh 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 uh. No, no, no. By the way, we already have 10 counters on the Synchro World. And then we can just pop. Boom. Just like that. Just like that. By the way, this is also why I like this card so much because <laughs> look at this shit. We drew, okay, we drew this card, and as long as we control like three black monsters, we can just act with this from our hand. Man, I know this is an old card, but however, it's still really nice. Alright, let's check out this hand. What, what can this hand do? By the way, the reason why I'm playing Swallow's Nest is. Because we don't have any consistency cards in, in, in this event. All the consistency cards are banned, bro. We are forced to play this card right now. But it actually works pretty well. Let me show you how. So basically, we can just do this here. And then we can normal summon Hamilton. And then we can just get rid of Hamilton. By attributing him. And then we can special summon the Avata. Just like that. Isn't that cool? And then we can tribute. Uh, activate Vata's effect, send these two here to the graveyard if you wanted to, and then we can splash summon here our beautiful black wing dragon. Gain the black feather world, special summon. This is now up to you guys, which, whatever you want to special summon. Um, because, like, we won't be able to build, I guess, huge board right now, right? So, it's up to you. Like, this, this, this one will be really tough to, like, build a board that is actually. Good because without Boreal Stone, we don't really have great lines. So, I would suggest to... Damn. What do I suggest to do, man? Is this the question? We can... I guess, special summon... Yeah, let's, let's special summon... Ah, oh, fuck. Yeah. Let's special summon here. That one. And then we can do this one. To bounce back this one. And then we can do this, and then do that. And then like, oh no. Oh, I see, we could do like a little bit of this. Like, I guess. Why not? 
summon him. He cannot be destroyed by card effect, which is nice, I guess. And then I forgot to use this, because this is how we're gonna get it, like a monster negate. And then with this, we can get that. And yeah, it's not great or strong at all, but trust me, in this event, this this might be enough. Because I don't, I don't think anyone is going to be like able to break this right here. I don't think anyone is going to be able to break this, to be honest. And if you feel like... I don't know, if you feel like, yeah... I mean, this card is great, but it become it became a tuner and if as long as like on the field it's a tuner we could potentially like we can like banish him and the black dragon from the graveyard some like a solid dragon if you want to and then we still have like monster negate burn a little bit and then we can pop like the whole field and he builds his days i guess yes yeah, like some kind of combos that we can yeah it's going to be enough for this event. That's all I'm trying to say. Now I got this random hand here. Let's see what we can do with this. By the way, Kogarashi is also kind of nice because... I don't know. Actually, I don't want to have this card in my hand. Like, I, I really want to special summon him with Zonda, to be honest. Like, if Zonda is in the graveyard, we can special summon him from the deck. And he's like a tuner, we could, which, which can help us to go into, like, a Crimson Rank. But, I don't know. Let's see what we can do here. Oh shit, I already fucked it up. Yeah, I already messed it up. Hold up. This is where you need to be careful, guys. Like, Gus, I can only special summon, special summon Gus right now if I control nothing. But once I activate Synchro World, I can't even use Gus right now anymore. So I already fucked it up. Let's, let's test another hand. Alright, let's check out this hand right here. This is actually a really cool hand. Here we can just do this, and then do that, and then we can get... Yeah, Jamal the baller, which is really nice. Now we can do this. Boom. We get that. There's some ball, right? Not. Now, if we if we need a tuner, we can just boop, and then do plop, and then we can go plop. Like, even if we don't have like broken hands like this, it's going to be enough. Cause I don't like. This Blackwing deck is already too crazy. I don't know why they didn't ban King Calamity. Like, having King Calamity alone is just disgusting, man. Like, I don't know what they were thinking. Not ban King Calamity, but we're gonna be able to, like, spam King Calamity the whole time. Not the whole time, but most time. Like, no other deck is going to be able to spam it. Like, that's red. I know here. It's up to you what you want to search with him. You got like black, uh, Blackbird Close, which is like a monster negate destruction on field. Or non monster negate with Chinook. Or if you want like another extender, why not go for water? And I believe water might be the right choice here. Why? You asking? Let me show you right here. Uh... Hold up, let me think real quick, because we're gonna be able to summon King Calamity here in the draw phase. Alright, this is ugly. This is this is really disgusting. Yeah, check this out. I'm just gonna do this, target him. Now five here, boom, 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 and then we're gonna do this. And then summon here the King Calamity like that. Oh my goodness, this is this is just ridiculous. And then <laughs> I will get a lot of hate for this. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. This they, this is Blackwings was supposed to be nerfed, bro. Blackwings was supposed to be nerfed. Bro. What the fuck? I make this deck meta, bro. I make this deck meta. Oh my goodness. Oh Good gracious. What do we want to special summon here, man? What do we want? We can summon whatever the fuck we want, man. And King Calamity action. What is this? Oh, witness. 
can summon even that, bro. Like, we can do whatever the fuck we want. Oh, man. Oh, man. Oh, man. Oh, man. Oh, man. Let's, let's just summon back another... Another Shamar. And then go for, like... Yeah, why not? Oh, my. Who's going to break this board, bro? Like, look at this. In the draw phase, bro. He's drawing a card. We're just gonna do this, bro. And then we're also getting a monster monster negate. Duh. This was supposed to be like a fun ha ha hee hee hoo hoo event. And I completely broke it. And we also have grind game bro. We also have a grind game. And now I can just pop your stuff. And also get like more stuff back. Like what the fuck. Oh my goodness, yeah, you, are you guys, oh my goodness, are you guys ready for, Why oh, you just booked my monster like that, the fuck, alright, fuck you, whatever, are you guys ready for the deck, I'm not sure if you guys are ready for the deck to be honest, <laughs> alright, don't get me wrong guys, like I'm not saying this is going to be the most insane consistent event deck, okay, there is not going to be a single consistent event deck in this event, I, I feel like, but I believe this is the strongest deck. First of all, like we're playing here three Veilers, one Imperm, Raigeki, Feather Duster, and even like this is also another ball breaker. Like we're gonna pop the whole back row like this, right? And then, yeah, we're playing one Orashi, one Jet Synchron, one Gust. I don't even know why we're playing Jet Synchron, but yeah. Then we're playing Shanga, we're playing Hamitan, playing Vata, Chinook, Assault Synchron. Revolution Synchron, Borrow Despair, Zephyrus, Free Times, Chris, uh, Free Times, Chris the Cracker, Dada Synchron, Shamal the Baller, Zudri, Kokorashi together with Simoon and Zonda. They're also insane together with the Swallow's Nest. So, yeah, and then we're playing Raigeki, Better Dust, uh, one Tuning, one Synchro World, one Black Whirlwind. Like, all those cuts are one offs, bro. We can only play them once. This is really sad, but it is what it is. One Black Feather Whirlwind, Free Swallow's Nest, Anti Rivers, Delta Crow, Impermanence, Twin Shadow, Black Blood Close. Like, bro, this card alone is going to win every matchup, bro. Like, oh my goodness, bro. I completely broke it. We might, you know what? Maybe you can even cut, like, a Jet Synchron and add something else. I don't know why this card is in the deck. <coughs> you don't really need that. <coughs> but. Besides, besides Jet Synchron, like, you know what, cut that and play, like, another Gust if you want to, like, I really believe this is smarter, I don't know why Jet Synchron is in this deck, but, yeah, this crazy stuff, man, crazy stuff, I really love this deck, I'm gonna dominate this event, alright, thank you guys for watching, Blackwing best deck.